Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. In this video, I go through the roadmap from week to week, letting you know everything that has changed. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for all the support, allowing me to do this. If you do enjoy my content and would like to make it even better, from as little as $1 a month, all the links are in the description below. And courtesy of one of my channel members, The Doctor, we have a standalone RSI Mantis to give away. All you have to do is be a subscriber and comment below with what you're excited for for 3.10. So talking of 3.10, a quick Evocati PTU update. It is currently at 3.10C with the Evocatis and focus is on the flight model in and out of atmosphere, the new building blocks, UI, the changes to the high speed combat, turret gameplay, vehicle impounding updates, and the Origin M50. Now there are a few issues like longer than wanted load times and error messages which they are monitoring. So do not expect a Wave 1 PTU anytime soon, hopefully this week, but it's possibly gonna stick into the Evos for now. But for more information on the current Evocati patch, do check out my leaked patch notes videos, which I have linked in the description below. So on to 3.10 for the roadmap. Many features are now transitioned into polishing. We have the new Babbage Shop Editions, the Grim Hex Improvements, the Electron Damage, Body Dragging, the Law System Version 2 with the Impounding Improvements, Turret and Gunnery Improvements, Height Map Improvements, and the Ship HUD Rework. They are all now in polishing and probably getting implemented for the Evocatis to test out. In Characters and the Bartender, he is still at 78% complete with 67 out of 86 tasks being done. So eight were completed last week and seven were added. So 19 still remain now. It's getting close. Hopefully they can get that in. For weapons, the Gemini C-54 Ballistic SMG is at 86% complete with 24 out of 28 tasks being done. Two were completed last week, four now remain. So on to 3.11 and locations, because as I say, the rest of 3.10 is now in polishing. The space station refinery decks, which we got to see on Inside Star Citizen, these are looking incredible. Combined with the cargo decks added to these space stations, they are going to be very, very cool. So the refinery decks are at 15% complete. Three out of 20 tasks are done. They actually completed the three tasks this last week. Two was removed, which is good, uh, and 17 now remain we can see already that they've made good progress there. For cargo decks, which has made much more headway, is at 41%. This is at 11 out of 27 tasks done. One was completed, four was added, only 16 to go. So on to gameplay for 3.11, the improved throw, which will help us with grenades and other throwable items. That is at 44% complete with 19 out of 43 tasks being done. Two were completed, one was added, 24 remain. And then finally for Surrender, this is at 50% complete with 7 out of 14 being done. So obviously 7 still remain. Now Squadron 42's roadmap has had a change to its caveats. The roadmap itself isn't any different, but the little blurb that they put on as a caveat to let us know what's going on has changed. This is because they're prepping for what to expect when they do update the roadmap. I won't go through it now as it is practically a video on its own and it's quite a long script but it is an interesting read if you are interested in it. Hopefully we will see that Squadron 42 video soon. I believe it is still on the cards, so my fingers are crossed. Anyway, that is this week's roadmap update. Do let me know what you think. Apologies for it being late. 3.10 is just around the corner, and from what I've seen, people are going to love it. With that said, make sure you subscribe. I cover all the leaked footage and all the leaked information, as well as covering the patch itself. Tick that notification bell so you know when my videos go live and hit the like button if you're excited for 310. Again, thank you to my patrons and channel members. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.